What's the difference between Dubai and Abu Dhabi? People in Dubai don't like the Flintstones, but people in Abu Dhabi do. <laughs> I know that joke were absolutely awful, but I've seen it commented that many times I thought I'd put it in. Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. I'm seeing a lot of people getting annoyed with grey logos on the new Amazon interface. So if you're using such as a fire stick or you download an app, Sometimes it doesn't have a logo or an image, it just has a grey background. And having one is already annoying enough. Imagine if you've got three or four, how are you meant to identify which app you're using? So I'm going to show you a few methods in this video and hopefully one of them will help you. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I'm going to make this video as fast as possible because I know it's not going to appeal to a lot of people, but it's also worth knowing in case you do come across it in the future. But do comment down below if you've had this issue previously and if you know of any fixes that I don't mention in this video. But as you can see, if I scroll across there, you can see I've got a grey icon and I haven't got a clue what app it is. If I do open it up, you can see it is Peacock TV. And I do think Peacock TV and HBO Max are the two most popular apps where you're having this issue. So the first method, and in my opinion, the best method, if I just go across to my applications there, open the app drawer and on Peacock TV I'm going to click on the three line button on my remote. If I hide me one second you can see there it says uninstall. I'm going to uninstall it from my device. Click OK. Now once I've removed the app I'm going to open Aptoid TV. Now if you haven't got this already or you don't know how to get it I will show you in one second. But you can go up to the search icon at the top and search for Peacock or on the top bar if we scroll across more than likely you will find it on here. And as you can see, you get the option to install and you've also got the option to install other versions as well. Now, previously installing an older version was the fix, but I'm just going to install the up-to-date version from Aptoid TV. So once that's finished, I'm going to use the package installer to install it and then follow the install prompts as you do. Once that's finished, I'm going to click on done. I'm going to go home and one thing you are going to find if I go into my applications once again and I scroll down to the bottom you are going to see now we've got Peacock TV with the actual logo but the issue I've come across personally if I try opening this version of Peacock TV you can see it says sorry it's not available on this device. Now the way to fix this is by opening up Downloader and once you're inside Downloader you want to visit letscrackon.org So letscrackon.org, exact as you see it there, I'm going to click on go give it a couple of moments just to load up the website and then in the top right hand corner you're going to see menu and then go to downloads if you do see an ad just go to the cross icon at the top there and now on my downloads page we're going to scroll down until we get to live tv and movie apps and then you are going to see it says peacock tv and when i click on this it's going to download i want to install it follow the install prompts once again click on done and then delete and delete again and if you're also wondering how to install aptoid tv it's actually on the same page if i scroll up to the top you're going to see it says app stores scroll down a little bit and there you see aptoid tv and you can download it from there now i'm going to click home and this time when i go into my applications go down to the bottom once again i'm going to open up peacock and then straight away you can see the app, well the, the text is showing differently to how it started previously. And then you can also see it actually loads up this time and doesn't say my device isn't supported. And then what you can do once again, you can click on the three line buttons, move to front, click on home. It'll add it to your home page and you can see it's still got that logo, which is really what we want. So ding dangly do, we're on a winner. Bit of a ball ache though, there is another thing you can try. So I'm not going to bother reinstalling the version where it's got the grey background but one thing you can do is go across to settings and then go down to where it says accessibility and once you click on this you've actually got something called a text banner. Now when opening this we're going to turn it on and it's going to tell you a few functions you can use such as to hide the banner you can long hold the play pause button. I'm going to click OK but as you can see, that's a bit intrusive and it looks dog shit. So I'm going to go to font size and color. I'm going to go to text. I want to change that to, I'm going to have it small. Then the color of the text, 
I'm going to have it green. Still looks dog shit though. So I'm going to go to background, transparency, and I'm going to change that down to zero. And then if I go down to where it says banner size, scroll down to where it says keep banner at chosen height, I'm going to turn that off. And then you've also got different positions where you can put it on your device or your home screen. So I'm going to change that to the top. As you can see, we've got a box up there. So now if I click on home and then I scroll across, it's telling you what you're actually on, although that's not the best background to be looking at. As you can see, it says Peacock TV, Aptoid TV, Zumo. So that's another way of identifying what app you are selecting. To turn it off, simply go to settings, accessibility, down to text banner, turn that off, ding dang do that's disappeared. Not the best method in the world, but if you find that the first method didn't work, it's a good way of identifying what you're clicking on. Another one you can do, which is very, very obvious, is go to settings, applications, manage installed applications. And it's going to tell you what application you've got on there. You can simply open it up, click launch, and then there you go. And then one other thing you can do is add a custom launcher. I did a video previously on the Wolf launcher, and you don't get this issue when using one of those as opposed to the Amazon interface. So I'll put a link in the top corner now if you want to go ahead and try a new interface or a new launcher. But in my opinion, the first method is the best method, but you may find it's a bit of a ball ache. But let me know in the comment section down below what you think. I know this video it was pretty dog shit. I weren't going to do a video on it at all. There's that many people asking about it. It just made sense to be able to do a video rather than message back to everybody. Right. I'm going now. So that... Oh, yeah. What do you think? Looks nice, doesn't it? Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. ta -da. Right, so I'm going to make this video... This... Th <laughs> and I think Peacock TV and he... HB... HB... <laughs> and I do think Peacock TV and HBO Max are the two most popular ones where you... So once I've uninstalled it... I'm going to go into an app called Aptoid TV. Now, I'm guessing a lot of you have heard of what? <laughs> so once that done, so once that done, what? <laughs> you're going to see app stores, scroll down and then, you know, yeah, but have. <laughs>